Hello everybody, today I'm going to go through a season game for you guys. This is season 10 for me. Now if you're not sure how many games you can forfeit, scroll down here to where the playoffs would be. This one says I need to finish the season with 10 wins. So whatever yours is, because it will change I think through seasons, but I'm not positive. Because I believe last one I only needed to win 9. This one I needed to win 10. So... Let's get right into it. We're going to go to Minnesota. What I wanted to do in this video is show you guys some of the running plays that have been working for me in tournaments and in seasons. And some of the defensive plays that work in all kinds of things like domination and even this here. And we're going to be playing the Minnesota Vikings. I wonder who their quarterback will be. Let's see here. Maybe they'll give him Dante Culpepper. Probably not though. I'm pretty sure they keep it to the team that they have right now. But we'll find out in a second, because if they had Randy Moss and Culpepper, oh boy. <laughs> Let's see here. That's Patterson, 84. And he's tackling. Well, he's not tackling. He's going through my guys here. All right. So basically, for defense, blitz, you can use pinch. Oh, I missed it. Come back. All right. So now I'm going to use Brooks here. Left outside linebacker. I'm going to bring him over to the line. Hopefully he throws an interception so we don't have to watch these too much. Because I don't want to watch these guys play. Okay, so there's a sack. I don't know why that's a tackle, but... Oh, well, this video is probably going to be a little longer than most of my other videos. Hopefully it's quality is going to be up to par. Usually when I make these videos very long, the app that I use does crack a little bit. I don't know why. I'm using an Android phone, so that's probably part of the problem right there. You're not always going to sack the quarterback, but you're pretty much always going to hurry him. You will get blocked once in a while by a running back or a fullback. But other than that, you should be pretty good. Dude, now it's up to you guys if you just want to run the clock down. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Oh, man. Oh, and I, I'm terrible with this analog stick, too. All right, so there we go. There's fourth down. They're going to punt it away. I normally don't play with the analog stick, but for domination and season events, when you're playing defense, you want to have the analog stick so you can rush the passer. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm definitely no expert when it comes to the analog stick because I hardly ever use it. So Locke's going to kick it off, and Peterson is going to earn this. Come on. Fall down sooner or later so I can get at least a yard. I'm just going to run out of bounds so we don't fumble. And for running plays, what I want to show you is a couple of them. This is HB Toss. I got Vic as a quarterback, and I got Chris Johnson as my running back. I like to have speed. And follow your blocker, take it out, and whoop, truck him, and try to get to the outside a little. Oh, can we break it? Can we break it? Oh, yeah, we can. That's perfect. HB toss, touchdown right off the bat. Now, that play is countered quite a bit because it's one of the first plays the game offers you. So, we're going to show you a couple of running plays. And let's just go with HP Toss again for a second. Now, for two-point conversions, I don't like to use Toss because sometimes they get to you. Woo! Looks like we're going to get in. All right. I usually use quarterback, sneaker, a fullback dive, H-back dive, that. All right, so now we're going to do... Oh, you know what I should have did is when you're kicking off, you can swim kick the ball and get it back. If you kick it right and sometimes the kicker doesn't do it right but what you do is you just well I'll show you on the next one here's the kickoff I don't know if you guys play with a stylus but I like to play with a stylus and sometimes it's a pain but other times it's helpful when I'm using the tap button setting instead of analog stick it helps <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to scroll across. I definitely picked the wrong defensive play, but 
Change it up a little bit here. Oh, and I got the interception. All right, all right. So now we're just going to go back on offense. We're going to pick a different running play. We got 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Hopefully show you a couple more running plays before this is all over. HB pitch is a decent play, but it seldom works. It's probably like a 50-50 shot. Let's go straight into HB slant 18, which works pretty good most of the time. Same thing here. You want to run to the outside as quick as possible so you're not stopped by any D linemen. I'm not going to break this one, but we still get a good yard gain here. I don't know, five yards. So now we're going to go into second down here. And what are we going to use? Should we use the same thing to go down the field? Let's use the same thing. Let's just keep doing that. Well, HB slant. Hopefully we get in quick. Boom. Uh-oh. Guy right there waiting for us. Can I break the tackle? Yeah, I broke the tackle, but there's too many guys around. Okay. So. Hmm. What should we do here? It's third down now. I say we pass it on third down. So we're going to pass it on third down. We're going to go straight to a short pass. We're going to go to the slant's middle. On this play, what I like to do is throw it to either my... Let's see what letters come up. X or LB. And X is wide open, so we're going to throw it there. And that's Julio Jones. A very good card to have if if you have them. Um, he gives your team plus one awareness, the one I have anyways, and that helps your defensive rating and everything else. So let's see here. Boom. Oh, that's HP toss. Well, this isn't the play I wanted, but we're going to do this one again because I already clicked. Okay, so HP toss. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. How's that cough a storm in here? Sometimes it's better to spin, and sometimes it's better to truck. I choose to truck a lot. But on that situation right there, if I would have spun, I might have been able to get out of that. Now let's go back to HB slant we were showing you earlier. Okay, HB slant. Now sometimes you could run this up the middle, and that's what I'm going to do right here. Because it was open. And that's it, guys. That's HB slant. And that play works pretty good. All right, Chris Johnson, enough showboating. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here's another one. HB slant. Boom. And we're going to go up the middle. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we barely got past that guy. Woo. That was close. All right. Now, we got a pretty good lead, so this should be pretty easy here. <laughs> You know, I hate how long this takes to load stuff all the time, especially these kickoffs. Now, here's the squib kick. I'm going to show you how I do it. If you're lucky, it will bounce to the sidelines and, like, stop two yards before the sidelines. It went up the middle. See, it's not supposed to go up the middle. And when it does that, it really aggravates me. But it is what it is. Let's just keep going. Do, 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 do. Come on, somebody tackle him so we can move on with this already. All right. And see, even if they do get it, it's not like it's... It gives them like an extra 10 or 20 yards than what they would have got if you kicked it off anyways. So it's really not a bad idea to do it. Because you will get the ball back once in a while. All right, so we're going to cut across again with this pinch play. Whoop! And we're going to get Bridgewater. All righty. <laughs> and once again, we got to wait for people to get up around. All right, here we go. We're going to go down again. Pinch. Going to scroll down. Yeah, I'll show you another play after this play. Hopefully it doesn't get me in trouble. There's Pinch. Pinch is definitely my favorite defensive play. Blitz that linebacker across. So the second play I'm going to show you is cover three under the 4-3 formation. So we're going to go up to the top here. We're going to go to formation. And then we're going to go to 4-3. And then we're going to go to cover three right here at the bottom left. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring Brooks. This is what the play looks like. It's a lot different than Pinch, but it works pretty good if I can get my guy lined up here. Hopefully we can get to Bridgewater. 
Oh, we're coming. Oh, we jumped over Peterson. Oh, that was so sweet. Look at that. Peterson whiffed a block. Got right to the guy we needed to do now. It's going to be fourth down. They're going to be punting it to us. There's one minute left, so they're probably going to run the clock. They call a timeout. Let's try to score again. All right, special teams. Punt return middle. You know, one thing I wish they had for special teams plays was where you leave back to catch the field goal in case it's too short, and you can return it back, because that would be cool. I don't know why they don't have that added in here, because a lot of people attempt some crazy yardage field goals. It would be cool to see your guys being able to return them. Here's Peterson, and again, we're going to try to run out of bounds. No need to fumble. Woo! They still get to him, though. All right. Now we got one minute and a second. So I'm going to go back to play type, and we're going to go to run, and we're going to pick a different play. We're going to pick HP Blast. That sounds like a fun one to play. Now this one's got a lot as well. Matter of fact, all the plays I've showed you have been countered pretty well. But usually somebody's got one of them missing. Now look at me trying to get away with my speed. And then I tried to truck them, but it was a bad angle for whatever reason. And usually you can break that one for a good one. That was... My bad. Somehow I missed up on trucking. So let's do that again. And I'm go down here to blast, but we're going to sit over to the other side. Hopefully we can get a first down at least. We got three timeouts. No, two timeouts left. Oh, geez. Now we got to go up the middle because they were rushing that side pretty hard. Now we trucked him, but there's nowhere to go, so it really doesn't matter. Maybe gained another three yards. 47 seconds left. We're close to field goal range. Let's keep using this play. It's all depending on where the guys are going on the defensive line because if they're coming to the outside, you definitely want to break it up the middle. And if they're not, then you could definitely break it. Oh, this looks good. I don't think he's going to catch him. No, he is not. See, that's what's really nice about having Sammy Watkins on your team. He's one of the receivers I'm using right now where he gives your team plus two speed. Chris Johnson with plus two speed, look out. He is gone. You ain't going to catch him. I don't care how good your defense is. Okay, now, let's use the same play. Go ahead and try to get the two-point conversion. 36 seconds left. Boom. Oh, this one looks scary. I'm going to go up the middle. Oh, yeah. All right. I think I could have got it either way there, but up the middle looked safe that time, so that's what we did. 24 to nothing. Still 30 seconds in the second quarter. I'm going to do another squib kick. Hopefully, we can catch this one and go for another touchdown before half is over. Mm-hmm. Now, if you could do it in yellow, that works pretty good, too. And for whatever reason, they keep kicking it up the middle. I really hate that because I'm not angling it towards the middle, but it always wants to go there. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Maybe if I angle the, the whole thing to the side, it will work. I don't know. I never really even tried that, to be honest with you. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to use? Let's go back to blitz and just use pinch again. Maybe we'll get a quick, I think it flips. So yeah, so this might not work too great, but let's see what happens. Yep, it flipped. So we're just gonna have to wait this one out. Oh, no interception. Blitz, see how it says flip at the top right there? You wanna unclick that. You wanna have the middle linebacker blitzing next to you. So unclick that and scroll down. And now the middle linebacker next to my left outside linebacker is going to blitz at the same time. And it makes it a lot easier because the blockers get a little confused. Woo! Here we go, Bridgewater. Better look out. Coming from behind. Oh, my goodness. All right. So there we go. Gotcha. 15 user sacks for the season. Just starting the season, basically. Forfeited all my games. I don't know if they gave you sack fitting or not though that's kind of strange now let's go back to again and pinch hopefully we can stop them again 30 seconds left don't want them to score that's for sure come on get in there get in there get in there oh we missed them what in the world oh that's an interception there it is there's barry and by the way barry the bca player is amazing he gets so many interceptions 
always in the perfect spot. Definitely a player you want to have on your team. Gives your team plus two awareness and plus two strength as well. So now we got 24 seconds left. I'm going to go to one of my favorite plays, and that one is HP Counter. Down at the very bottom to the right. HP Counter Strength, I believe it's called. And we're going to go across. Oh, we're not going to beat that guy. we got to go a little faster. And then, whoop. Yeah, we ain't going to beat this guy. Nope. He tracked us down. Let's call a timeout so we can still score. Something I found out about these season games is like the last play before our quarter ends is usually when you could break a good one, especially before half. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to timeout. And we're going to go to counter strength again. This time we're going to run to the uh, right side. All the way down at the bottom here. Boom. Okay. Oof, my arm just cracked. That did not feel good. Hopefully, John's arm doesn't crack while he's running this ball. And we're going to come across again. And now we're going to break it up. And we're going to break this tackle. Oh, he screwed up. That would have been a good one. Now we got to go back to this menu. Pause the game. I don't know if you just heard my dogs, but they were growling like crazy. Okay, now. Dog fight. Okay, now let's see here. Call timeout. This is pretty much our last shot with the running play. Boom. Unless we get out of bounds, of course. Woo. Oh, I see field. I see field. I see green trees. Uh-oh. Oh, I got it. I got it. He's going to the house. Oh, that was epic. Loving it. All right, so there we go. That's how I use my running plays. And in the second half, if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you some of my patterns. I'm going to do this whole game on here. Hopefully, it doesn't crack on you, volume-wise. Oh, I should have picked a running play. I don't have any timeouts, so we're going to have to kick this field goal. Whoop! Yeah, because whenever I drag to aim, like I was telling you on the kickoffs, it takes me forever to drag and aim. I don't know why they have it like that. I don't know, maybe it's just my Android device. Not compatible with their version of special teams. And here I am again, doing the kickoff the wrong way. I'm supposed to be doing a squib kick. But you want to drag it over. Now let's see if it kicks it out of bounds. It probably it's not going to be a squib kick. Watch, it'll go straight out of bounds. Yep. <laughs> just my luck <laughs> well we'll have to try that again with a squib kick <laughs> so now if you didn't know it's basically a penalty and it's a penalty that takes forever for the ref to get on your screen and I have no idea why they made it that slow too but there's the penalty I forget what they call it they tell you when it happens Basically, they're going to be starting at their 40 now. Now, let's see here. Defensive plays. Flip back over to unflipped and get pinched back on here. Hopefully, we can get the ball back right away. Actually, never mind. There's three seconds left in the game. What am I thinking? I should have just kicked it to them. Whoop. And here's another interception. Nope. Oh, he just missed it. Wow. Well, that's it for that half. Now, I don't know who gets the ball back. I wasn't paying attention. I get the ball back. Okay, so you're going to see my passing plays right off the bat. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the run plays. I'm going to use the same play to go down the field. And this helps you in head-to-head -head because if you could use the same play every drive because they counter almost every time if you're at Mullen fans, which is all, all uh, or no, it's not all Madden. It's Hall of Fame, I believe. Okay, so now... Here we go. We're going to go across here. I like the return kicks. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I hate when they fumble. It just drives me insane. Okay, so now we're going to go to long pass under play type. HB angle, bottom left. Uh, and with this play, you want to move your quarterback to the left a little bit so you don't get sacked by right and see my guys getting stuck that happens a little bit here and there now Watkins was open he's the wide receiver out there to the left but I like to throw it to the H-back he seems to get a few more yards if you can get it to him but yes if that defensive lineman guy was 
getting off of his block, I would have definitely threw it to Y. Sammy Watkins. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing, HP angle. Now, there's a lot of things you can do in this play that work really effectively. Right now, there's not a big safety out there by Gronkowski, so I'm going to throw it deep to him. He got st he got stuck on somebody for a while there. But as you can see, he broke three. The safety wasn't on him playing zone, so for whatever reason, the safety was on my other receiver. Left him open. Easy touchdown right there to Gronkowski. And if you could throw to him when he's open, he's going to catch it every time. He's going to give you a big yardage gain. Special teams. Field goal. Here I am doing another field goal. Oh, well. You could do that play. I was just doing it on two-point conversions. Just sometimes it's really a pain because you pass it and it hits the defensive lineman or offensive lineman in the back of the helmet when you throw it so quick. That's another thing I wish to say about this game because what quarterback in the NFL is going to hit an offensive lineman in the back of the head? I mean, other than, you know, some scrubs. Now let's see here if we can drag this across again. There we go. Now we're going to do it this way. We're going to kick it straight and see what happens. Just lightly. Not super hard. Oh, I thought that was a squib kick. Oh, man, I screwed up again on that kickoff. That is the worst squib kick ever. <laughs> well, next time I'll show you, hopefully. Like you just said you were going to show us that. Yeah, I know. But I screwed up again. All right, come on. The referee's taking forever again. He's got to go pick up his flag. Probably threw it in the stands. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's again pinch. I mean, why change your why change defensive play when this one works all the time? I wasn't sure if he was gonna give it to the running back or the quarterback too. Sometimes they do that to you. They trick you, and the running back takes it and he goes to the house almost on you. Boom. Yeah, because that cover three play I was showing you earlier in formation under four three, they will get good runs off of that play because your guys all go by zone coverage. And if they run the ball and you miss them, they're going to get a couple yards. But with pinch, it's a little different. You usually stop them anyways. Do, 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 yeah, maybe next video I'll sing for you guys. Sing a really good, happy song. Cheer you up. <laughs> it's only going to cheer you up because of how bad I sing. But here we go. Let's see if we can get a pick. Oh, no. But he dropped it, thank goodness, because I think that would have been a good first down for them. That was a good pass. I could have sworn that was a good interception. Now we're going to return the punt. I, I very seldom return kicks in this game. I've seen people do it a lot in tournaments, too. Has me baffled. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll work on my kick returns. Definitely need to work off on my kickoffs because, as you can see, my squib kicking is doing terrible. On top of that, I'm hitting the wrong play. Oh, what is my guy doing? Bouncing into me. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, sure. Just give him the ball. Oh, my goodness. What in the world was that? <laughs> Wow. Oh, should I should pick a different running. I mean, pass and play. Mm, which one should we pick? Let's, let's do slant. Slant's middle the whole way down the field. All right. All right. Oh. No, let's see who's open. Usually look for X or LB on this one. And I wrote the X, even though he doesn't look that open. No, he got. That wasn't a good throw. Sure way. Definitely don't want an interception. In a tournament against a really good player, that might have been an interception. Let's try this again. Let's see, there's Jones and Fitzgerald. Either one of them are good receivers to throw to. And nobody's open again. So is B open? No, B's not open. So now we gotta wait for X. And there's X. He's open. Okay. So we get a first down. Definitely can throw interceptions on this play because I always bullet the pass. Hold down the button and it will bullet the pass. You know, if these guys aren't open away. It's not a huge problem unless the defensive line's right on your tail. Then you might have to throw it to B. Oh, there we go. He's coming after me. 
Wouldn't have been able to do that with Elway, but with Vic, you can get away with that. Okay. Short pass. Slants middle. I'm trying to throw it to somebody different, but that's usually the guy I throw it to on this play. Yeah, he's open again, so I'm going to throw it to him again. Woo! Boom. Broke a tackle, but it's not going to get me nowhere because I got like six guys. Now, sometimes they'll blitz the safety on this play, and it's a touch. Down. You get through the one guy you got to get through. Keep using this. I'm going to try to throw it to somebody else soon. Now, when you're on this side of the field, you can definitely throw it to your H-back. Oh, he's wide open again. I'm just going to throw it to him. Uh-oh. 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 Ah, he's gone. Okay. It, it all depends on how they play it because you could throw it to him. You can throw it to Gerald on the far right. You throw it to the H-back if the linebacker doesn't chase him across the field, which a lot of times they do. And I'm kicking a field goal again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just habit for seasons. I usually kick field goals unless they're scoring. If they're scoring, I go for two. Okay. Boom. I don't think they're too happy in Minnesota right now. Those fans are about to cry. So now we're going to go to squib kick. Here at the bottom, I'm going to actually do it the right way this time. I'm going to scroll across again, see if this works. Oh, we got to go farther than that. That might be okay. We'll find out. Whoop. Oh, that's a hard kick. That might kick right out of bounds. Oh, I went right in the middle again. See what I'm saying? This thing doesn't make any sense for crying out loud. I angled it towards the fans and they kick it up the middle. I don't get it, man. I do not get it. Whew. All right. Blitz again. Oh, I flipped it. Oh, man. I'm just going to play zone with Porter here. Okay, he's down. Forty-five to nothing. Six seconds in the third quarter. Let's undo the flip. Put pin on. Bring Brooks across. We should be still good. I don't think they're gonna get a first down here. Running back's on the wrong side to block me, but he still can get me. Oh, oh let's see. Oh, he throws it up for a pick. Yep. And Barry again. He's a monster. Now, turnover. Well, yeah, that was like yesterday. Come on now. And it's the end of the third quarter. You know, I was watching this the one day, and one of those line refs that hold the signs up for first downs and stuff, he, he fell on the ground. <laughs> laughing. All right, so now another play that works really good is Spot. Are we going to use spot? No, let's scroll down to strong flood. I'm going to do strong flood here. I'm going to show you how I do this play. I don't know how many people do it this way, but it definitely works, and it works nice if you stick with it. Now, here we go, and it's not countered ever. So you just make sure your quarterback stay. Oh, look, they covered it, so now we got to go somewhere else with the ball. I usually throw to Gronkowski when they cover um, Jones and fit all there. But this one you want to throw to Fitzgerald, but they had that covered big time. So I had to throw it over here to big old Gronk, and I have no problem doing that. Okay, so short pass. We're going to scroll down again. We're going to go straight to strong flood again. And you want to throw it to Fitzgerald if he's open. But if he's not open, you definitely don't want to. No, he's open this time. Can you get past that guy? Oh, I didn't get past that guy, but that's first down. But once in a while, if it's a fourth and ten, I usually don't pick this play because... I'd rather on fourth down because sometimes it's only a nine yard gain. You kind of got to wait for it sometimes. Okay. Now here's the play again. If you weren't sure, you could throw it to anyone, but my primary guy is LB. X would be my second guy if I was on the other side of the field. And then I'd say B and A all around that area. I could throw it to Watkins, but I don't like to do that. Look, he went after Watkins, so I could throw another lob over here, hopefully. Gets, there you go. 
I wasn't looking at Fitzgerald that time. I usually always do, but I wanted to see what Watkins did there because of the defense they had. I was thinking of throwing it to him, too. All right, so now short pass. We're going to go the same thing, strong flow. As time runs out. Well, I'm not showing you all the plays that I use, but I'm showing you a ton of them in this video. Now you got to wait for him to get past that guy. And then, whoop, see, see that's a nine-yard gain. But I had to throw it there because I don't think I would have been able to get the 10-yard gain with the linebacker in the middle. And I throw a bullet to him. And to Gronkowski, I don't throw it. I throw a lob. But it all depends on how they're playing it. Do this again one more time. Boom. And he's open. This should be a touchdown as long as it doesn't break in like crazy. Oh, he broke in like crazy. Okay. I probably should have threw that a second sooner. I think I would have been good. Go back to the same play. And try it again. Boom. He's open. Touchdown right here. Whoop. As long as he doesn't drop it from the safety. But Fitzgerald, he's usually pretty good. This is the BCA Fitzgerald, 94 overall. Very good, especially when you give him plus two speed and acceleration speed from my other players as well. All right, stop showing off. Let's go. All right, now do it again for a second. Two-point conversion. Hopefully we can get this. Let's see. This is a tough one to get two-point conversion for. Uh, open, not open. He's open, so we're going to throw it over to the H-back and try to get in the end zone. Yep, there we go. Two-point conversion. Done deal. Now, all we got to do is pick another squib kick here. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to try it the way I normally do it. Hopefully, it'll work for you guys. Whoop. That's how you want to do it, right there. And it still went up the middle. Yeah, I can't win today. I don't know what's going on with these kickoffs. They're just not doing what you want. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe I can get a really bad kicker and it'll do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Blitz again. Ah, it's on flip. I almost hit the button again. There we go. Nothing going there. Almost had a pick. I had a feeling I was going to get a pick, but that line crossed instead of trying to catch the pass. Okay, come on, Brooks. Let's go. Whoa. Ah, oh, then not a pick again. Okay. If I could stop him here, I'll show you another play. Just trying to get through this. Fourth down, call a timeout. As soon as I can. Okay. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, if you call a timeout before you pick a play, it'll put time back on the clock, whatever was on before you pick the play. And if you, you time out after you pick a play, the time that it is is the time that it stays. Okay, so now, yep, we're going to go special team. We're going to return the punt. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Locke's going to punt it off to Peterson again. See if we can get a couple yards before going out of bounds here. Whoop, good enough for me. What play are we going to pick, guys? Deep attack works pretty good. A lot of these plays work good. You just got to figure out how they work and when they work. Uh, let's go to long pass. 
Wasn't that what? I, yeah, I was just on long pass. Whoops. Go to short pass. I usually use short pass more than I use any of them. I got nine seconds to pick a play. Let's down to flanker spot. It's a really good play. On this play, I choose to throw to either Gronk, tight end A, or I will throw to Jones. I'll throw to Fitzgerald once in a while, but it usually doesn't work too well. Boom. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's open over here. I'm going to throw it to him real quick. Everybody else looks pretty covered. Get out of bounds if I can. Nope, nope, out of bounds. Hit the analog stick. Way too late. Call a timeout here. Yeah, I mean, if they're not going to give you nothing deep, it's nothing wrong with getting a quick first down. Oh, my goodness. Getting all kinds of updates here. Short pass. Yes, I believe so. Flanker spot down here at the bottom. Hopefully, we can get a deep one here. Let's go. End this game on a good note. And, ooh, I don't know. We're going Fitzgerald. Let's go, Vic. Let's go, Vic. And there's a touchdown. I'm not afraid to throw it to Fitz. He's a tall receiver. He's got a pretty good jump and catch. So now, let's see. <laughs> you want to try that play for a two-point conversion? Why not? We're going to throw it to this left, probably. Watkins. Let's see what happens. Watkins. Oh, I'm getting rushed like crazy. Oh, no, I stepped out. Oh, no. Ah, get in. Oh, man, that was close. All right, 10 seconds left. Not bad. I tried to throw a bolt pass, and since I threw a bolt pass, the receiver came at it, and I don't know. If I were to throw a lob, I think it would have got picked. All right. I don't think I picked the right play again. Yeah, I just kicked it off. It wasn't working the whole game anyway. 10 seconds left. Kick it to this guy. I like to kick it to the outside because you can get a lot of good hit stick tackles. I don't usually play with analog stick, though, so the hit sticks are a little harder to get for me because I don't know exactly what I'm doing with analog stick. I'm getting so many messages, it's crazy. What's going on, people? Somebody die or something? All right, here we go. Whoop, right across. And another interception. Ferry hits three on the day. Woo! He's a beast. Gives me four seconds to choose a different play for you guys. And now I need 20 yards, so we're going to have to pick a good one. Let's go with spot. Basically the same idea as flankers. I mean, look at that. It's, it's basically the same play. I mean, it's what, it's what it looks like to me. Same exact play. The only difference... Heck, I don't even know if there is a difference. All right, here we go. Whew. Moment of truth. Can we bank it? Uh-oh, I don't know. I throw it to Jones. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, that was so close. I don't know if that would have happened against a really, really, really good defense. This is the 10th season. So the defense is, I believe, 80 overall. Other than when you start now. But definitely not as good as some of them you play in tournaments. Let's see here. Uh, field goal. No, let's go for that plan. Spot. Okay, here we go. This is the last play. This whole thing for you guys. I hope I helped you guys somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, and another. Why not? There we go. Two point conversion. Done. Oh, wait. There's one second left. Let's try another squib kick. Can we pull it off clutch? Last part of the game. Can we recover this kickoff? Hopefully, because so far it hasn't looked good. This one's going down the middle again. I can't win. Hit him in the back. <laughs> as soon as you hit a player, they all go after it. But if you don't hit the player initially, then the kick return on the other side of the field is the only guy that's going to touch it to try to get it. So your guys usually end up getting it first. You can practice on your own time. But that's it for this, guy. 67 or nothing on this video. Not a bad video to shoot online. That's what I'm going to do here in a little bit. Help somebody out. Done here. Done. And next game's against the Broncos. All right. See you next time.